YouTube. Today, I want to talk to you guys about um, how cement retention makes you uh, extra attractive, I would say. Like, how does it make you, how does it improve your attraction? Why do you become so attractive on this journey? Why do you become so attractive on this journey? So, as most of us know, on this journey, your physical attributes are going to be enhanced. And what are the physical attributes of a man? First, I would like to talk about your beard. Mine is shaped, so don't judge me by what I'm going to say. So your beard, you are going to notice that your beards, uh, they grow a lot faster and they are more shiny. They have this shiny attributes to them. Like they are no longer dull, you know. When you look at them, you could see that it's glittering. Like there's this um, glow, glowiness about your beards that you have. And um, for men, beard is the equivalent of makeup to women i would say or is it a haircut which of them i believe it's a beard a beard uh, is the equivalent of a ma of makeup for women and then secondly you are going to notice that uh, your voice gets deepened you you have this natural um, bass voice now i have personally i have a very i used to have a very feminine voice I think I still do, but that's now over the phone. Like, whenever somebody's calling me from the phone, they usually tell me that mm, I sound like a girl and all that stuff, which is natural because that's my natural voice. Um, although I think um, fapping has caused uh, has caused this voice to become more feminine in a way. Uh, so you are going to notice that your voice deepens. Uh, you no longer have the same tone you used to have before you got on this journey. You now speak on a much more lower, um, do I call it decibel? Like your your tonation is now much more lower. You now have the masculine uh, aura to you. You know you have the masculine tonation to you now. Another thing you are going to notice is better posture. Um, because you are now retaining all the nutrients that is required I'm going to give you an analogy using two plants and um, one of those plants are being fed with the proper amount of manure and the proper amount of nutrients also it's been exposed to the proper amount of sunlight and is also being fed the proper amount of water and then on the other hand you are going to have a plant that is not so well watered and not so well manured when I say not so well manured, I mean it does not have the, it has not been fed the required amount of nutrients for it to blossom it's, it, into its full uh, capacity of being a plant, you know. And what, what are the physical results? What are you going to see when you look at both of these plants? You are going to notice that the one that has been fed with proper nutrients has a brighter color to it. Like the green is uh, really green and the plant has a very tall and you know straight structure straight posture same thing is going to happen to you on this journey because you're no longer shooting out one every 30 seconds or every minute into your socks or into your pillow whatever it is that you do um, and by the way you should stop that rubbish yes you watching this video stop that rubbish you're doing stop shooting out your your, your life force into socks and bed sheets so when you stop shooting out, uh, your body is going to start to reabsorbing all these nutrients. All these nutrients are the manure to your body for you to become a full-fledged human or a man per se, for you to become a really masculine man, for you to get into your natural state. You're going to have to collect all these nutrients and take it back into your body. So by retaining, your body is going to naturally reabsorb all these nutrients that you are no longer giving out into your socks and to the women. And your body is going to use it to make you more attractive because what is the bo body telling itself okay i have not reproduced now i'm going to make you or make myself the most attractive person so that i can attract a mate thereby enhancing the glow on your face enhancing your posture you're going to realize that you stand straight now your eye contact is better your shoulders are relaxed when you walk when you walk, you walk with this confidence, this swagger, this charisma.
also you are going to notice that your humor is going to be increased i think a part of masculinity is being able to charm people and being able to humor people you know like being able to break the ice not and um, being so serious all the time it's, it's also a part of masculinity well a little bit because and um, being overly humorous is i think is a feminine trait you know so you are going to notice that you are now humorous like uh, people kind of find you funny not in a negative way you know there's a derogatory funniness that you can have where you you become the um object of fun or object of laughter not on this journey on this journey is the other hand is on the other way it's because people respect you so much and since you're no longer um since you're no longer uh, so busy in wasting your seed you're going to notice that people are going to respect you more and you are no longer smiling so much and for that reason when you make a joke people are going to take it very serious like they're going to laugh you know they're going to be laughing their asses out because you are not the type of person to usually tell jokes you're usually in your masculine frame you know you're either working on something or you're busy doing something else so you're usually in your masculine frame so whenever you tell a joke you find out that people are usually um very happy to hear you telling a joke you know because they like to see that side of you as well not the so serious and masculine guy you know that you know so you become really funny on this journey your humor becomes top notch you know like your deliverance the timing everything is perfect like you know when to do it and when not like you can read the room and tell exactly when uh, it is the right time to make a joke you know and that joke is not going to be derogatory it's going to be more so like although you can be laughing at yourself but uh, people are going to notice that um, this person has some self-respect and therefore i cannot um, treat this person anyhow or behave towards this person anyhow because i can see this person has some standards and carries himself somehow you know um another thing is going to be the spiritual side um your spiritual attractiveness usually uh, most people whenever they hear the word attractive they usually think about physical attributes although that is what we humans uh, have been conditioned how we've been um how we've evolutioned from the past years you know and um, we usually usually they say do not judge a book by its cover but and uh, that's the way we are wired you know we are aware to always judge people by their natural appearance by their physical appearance i mean to say so on this side uh, it's going to be a spiritual enhancement of your attractiveness what do i mean by this you are going to notice that your personality is going to become really attractive uh, you are going to become this calm collected calculated and laid back guy and for this reason since you're not doing too much women are going to be coming around you and they're trying to figure out like okay why is this person not giving me all the attention i want or um, why is this person so focused on himself and we all know that the currency of um, a woman is uh, a attention so you are going to notice that this would want to come for your attention all the time because you are focused on something else and not them and they would want to know why i'm so pretty why are you not looking at me all the other guys that i've met so far in my life have pedestalized me they've put me on this um high tower you know where i am the queen of all queens why are you not doing that what is so different and what is so special about you and therefore these women are going to come around you and try to find out you know they love mystery women are always going to try and solve um mystery women should be working for the cia of or the fbi I, I, i've said this thing to some of my friends before and they thought i was joking women women they like to investigate so give them something to investigate and they'll be hooked on you another thing is become is you become um very closer to god you are now operating in this god frequency so of course god is the frequency i do not mean the person that we think of god as i mean the frequency the state of being uh, is a very nice place to be you're going to be in peace and you're going to be in joy and in bliss all the time and that is naturally going to um be shown on your face through the glow and um lack of uh, pimples and all of that on your face so guys uh, that's why i just wanted to let you know today you are going to really become attractive and osho said um, when sexual energy is directed upwards that person becomes really attractive to all and he or she is going to attract people unknowingly 
and he or she should be aware of this situation. So you are going to attract people unknowingly. People from all walks of life are going to be attracted to you because of this energy. Um, so please, guys, keep on retaining and for sure you would be rewarded i keep saying it you would be rewarded by the universe you might not see it in 10 months one year two years but keep on going guys there is no practice greater than this practice guys there is no practice greater than this practice you are going to fail but the most important thing is that you do not stay where you've been uh, for the past year years of your life you there's an improvement you know there's more self-control there's more will to do things that are really important to you in life so guys um i really appreciate the 21 subscribers i have so far and uh, if you've not subscribed please subscribe and i'll be bringing you more content uh, from from me to you chooks is the name and i love you guys bye